It's fatal to collect. The statue reviews and lectures, giveaways and raffles that'll leave a followers baffled. Got fooling and got loving with new reviews up in the oven. So press like, comment, and go ahead and get the sub. What's up, YouTube? It's Fatal the Collector. Coming to you with a quick review of the one half scale Terminator bus by Chronicle Collectibles. Now, again, this is a one half scale bus that I purchased from Sideshow Collectibles. This is the art box, and it's a medium-sized box. And on the front, you have the one-half scale Terminator bus from the Terminator Genesis movie with the likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger. On the front, you have uh, Chronicle Collectibles. That, that's who made it. And their website at the bottom, Chronicle www.chroniclecollectibles.com. And I'll leave a link in the description of that website. Now, I purchased this on Sideshow Collectibles. Now, it has since sold out. I was able to purchase this item a couple months ago, and uh, there was a low stock on it. But Sideshow had a $100 off coupon. So all in with the shipping, I was at around 275 bucks. Again, this is a half size, um, half scale uh, bus. So it's supposed to be one half of a human. Okay, I'm gonna show you some in the art direction. Pretty simple box. Skydance Productions. And on the back side of the box, Terminator Genesis with an actual photo of the actor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It says Los Angeles, 1984 AD. Now, 1984. I'm an 80s baby, late 70s, 1979. So Arnold Schwarzenegger was one of those guys in that era. He was like the rock of that era, the Dwayne Johnson. He, along with other actors like Rocky and Dolph Lundgren, and um, those were the guys that had all the action movies. Now, you know that Arnold was famous for movies like Total Recall, Predator, Terminator. Those were his signature films along with the Predator. Now, the Terminator was based off a book by a woman that they called the Oracle. So it has some of the ties to the Matrix. And if you go and read the book, you'll find out that uh, the lady who kind of wrote the story that springboarded those movies ended up suing the um the movie companies and was paid handedly. So, but that has nothing to do with this statue. I just thought I'd put out that little uh, goose egg or Easter egg. Yeah, that's what they call it, an Easter egg. But here we have the art box. And I think the box is simplistic. It gets the job done. All right, now when you get this thing out of the box, you see two pieces. It's just the bus and a base. Now the base has some decent weight to it. I would say it weighs anywhere from about three to five pounds. I'm not gonna be uh, weighing anything or measuring anything in this video. The link to Sideshow Collectibles will be in the description and it'll give you everything you need as far as dimensions and weight goes. But I would say it's about three pounds at least. Now, if you look at this bus, I mean this base, it has the labeling on the front. Now, in the collecting community, some collectors do not like the labeling. Personally, I do. Now, when I pull out the bus, you'll know right away who it is. Do I need it? No. Do I like it? Yes. Do I think it's necessary? I do. Because when people come over my house to look at my collectibles, they can... See, oh, that's Terminator. My grandmother, who's 82, she'll figure it out. But if she just saw it, she'll be like, who is that there? But if she reads Terminator, she'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that movie. So I think that, you know, for the novice collector, it helps them navigate who we're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and 
you know, turn this bus around a little bit so we can get a good look at how it looks. So you saw the front, and if you look at the side, it's like a mechanical arm. Kind of like the the endoskeletons or ectoskeletons. Endo, ecto, the skeletons of the Terminators in the movie. So it's a nod to that. And it it's painted pretty well. It's some decent paint apps on this thing. Now, this is done in polystone, but I think that the airbrushing that they did on this gives it a, a sense of realism and it looks it looks like metal, you know? Uh, I think they did a really good job with the paint apps on the base. So now let's get to the main event, the bus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the main event, the bus. Now, this is the peg, the key for the peg, and the hole is at the top of the base. So, it's only two pieces that comes in the box, and it slides right in, just like that. And if you turn around and look at the back, it rests against this mechanical arm here. So... All together, the weight is probably about 10 pounds. Again, the link will be in the description, but I'll give it about 10 pounds, base being about three to five and statue about seven. Okay, so let's look at it. Chronicle Collectibles is billing this as one half scale. Now I'm the owner of a lot of one three scales. I don't think it's one three, but I don't quite think it's one half. I have two custom spawn statues, well, bust, that are one half scale, and I think they look slightly larger. Now, I'll have this on shelving pretty close to those, so in the future when I do a room tour, I'll get a real estimate. But I'm a five foot eight man. I have average sized hands, and when I palm that, it looks like the head of an infant child, not half of Arnold Schwarzenegger's head. And Otto's a pretty big dude. And I don't think he has a small head. Now, he's not bigger than he builds himself. Otto has never been 6'3". Uh, I don't even think 6'2". I've seen him stand next to Lou Ferrigno. I've stood next to Lou. Lou is about 6'4". I would say Arnold is a generous 6 feet. But he's still a pretty big guy. But I don't think this is one half scale, more like one and 2.5. But let's get into the details. OK, this is a, a fully sculpted poly resin statue. Everything sculpted, the hair, the body, the face and the eyes are not glass, but they're painted, sculpted and painted. But I think they did a good job. Uh, the wrinkling around the brow area and the forehead lines are done very greatly the recessed um, cheeks but the high cheekbone with the recessed around his mouth area that is classic Arnold Schwarzenegger the chiseled jawline this was a muscular dude this dude had low body fat high muscle um, the chest area and the shoulders and clavicle and uh, around his throat and Adam's apple area they did a great job with the shading I think that the uh, the tone of his skin, like that mild tan that Arnold Schwarzenegger has, it's right on. It's a California tan. Uh, this is the governor. But uh, this is a 1984 version of him when he was younger and, um, and lean, you know. Uh, but I think they did a good job. The hair is like a dark brown. Now, there's not uh, any separation of colors in the hair. But all the patterns in the hair gives it a nice flow. Again, it's all sculpted. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a turn. Most of everything that you want in this statue, in this bus is right in the front. So we're gonna turn it to the side. And those ears are done real nice. Um, the ear canals and all of the folds and lines that will be in the ear, they did a good job around the lobe. Very good job. And they sculpted the hair all the way to the back of his neckline. But then you see, that's it, you got, that's all you have with the shoulders and the rest is flat. But 
for the price point, I think, especially with the one hundred dollar that I got at Sideshow, all in at two seventy five with shipping, I think it was a good deal. Uh, this is sold out on Sideshow, and uh, I'll put the link in the description to Sideshow so you can get all the real details on the measurements. And also, uh, chroniclecollectibles.com. I'll put their website in the link, and I'll go and check and see if they still have this available. For the price of $250 plus shipping, if you can find this on eBay, I'd say it's a steal. Um, especially for a beginning collector that wants to add some bust to their collection, or a collector with not much space, a big fan of the movie. Now, this is my first Terminator piece, and uh, I've, I've been looking to add some stuff to the collection. The full scale bus, the um, the one done by I think it's Queen Studios, that's long sold out and on the aftermarket it's just way too expensive. That one was amazing, but I did not uh, get in on that one because I wasn't collecting bus like that. But when I saw this one, I said, you know what, this would be a good piece to start my Terminator collection. Now, what could I think they had done better? Uh, Maybe a slight bit better coloring around the lips to give it a little bit more separation. Uh, it's not like Arnold had pink lips. I would just say a little bit more separation there. Uh, I think it's a little bleeding on the forehead with the paint. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. The shading is done amazing around his chest, shoulders, and all of that. I think that's done well. I think the eyes are done pretty well. Um, if you can get close in there, you can see the pinks um, in his eyes. I think they did some good, good painting in there with that. And the eyebrows, I mean, these statues and <laughs> busts that are coming out now, they're using hand-punched hair. So this is all sculpted. And I think, you know, they even got the eyelashes um painted on here so overall i think it's 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 really really good and if you look even the nostrils they're they're pretty deep so it gives it a more sense of realism and um the forehead lines again i think that's my favorite part of the scope because that that gives it a a, a good good details of realism that he has this serious mean look on his face and i think they capture that because he was mean, but he he didn't have a lot of personality. So it's just like this mean, stoic face that we've known for uh, the Terminator. And I think they did a good job, man. Here's that jawline, that classic Arnold jawline. It's spot on. In my opinion, it's spot on. Look at it. I don't think we can argue with that. And the skin tone, again, it's that California tan that... That nice California tan that the governor is known for. But again, I think the paint job is done nicely. I think the skin tone is done done really well. Um, I don't have many gripes with this. I'd say if I was to give it a score, it's about a 4.5 out of 5. The um, I think that it could have been slightly larger. And we're going to call it a half scale, slightly larger. But as far as the paint job goes, I think it's done pretty evenly. Um, maybe they could have did a little bit more um, highlighting in the lip area to give it a little better separation. Um, but for a polystone statue and the way that they're sculpted and the way that they're painted, I think this was done overall really nicely. Again, I'll be leaving a link in the description to Sideshow's page, and I'll leave a link in the description to uh, chroniclecollectibles.com. And if I can find anything on eBay, I'll put a link in the description to that as well. If you can get this for around 250 bucks plus shipping, it's what I paid for it, I think you're getting a good deal. Again, this has been the one 
half scale Terminator bus by Chronicle Collectibles. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Again, this has been Fatal to Collector. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell notification. Peace. Just like, comment, and subscribe to Fatal to the Collector. collector.